Here are seven reasons why the Irish tin whistle is an amazing instrument. Number one, it is very beginner friendly because it is inexpensive. You can get a cheap one for as low as 10 or 15 US dollars. It is very easy to produce sounds on it because you simply need to cover the holes on the flute and blow into the mouthpiece like this. And you simply release one finger at a time to play up the scale. And you cover the holes one by one to go down again. Number two, it is very light and portable, very small instrument and also durable because most of them are in either metal or plastic. And that's uh, that means it's easy to carry anywhere. I have uh, taken this into the forest, uh, you can take it into the pub and play. Uh, and since it is so cheap, you don't have to worry too much about breaking it. But this one is in thick metal, so it's very durable. Number three, it is very easy to play because it is easy on your fingers compared to, for example, a guitar, which is tiresome for your fingers and joints. Uh, you don't have to press your lips like on a, a saxophone or clarinet reed. And uh, since it is so small, uh, tin whistle, it, it doesn't require much airflow either. In fact, you barely need to blow air into it to make a sound. Number four, it is super quick to tune. Uh, compare this to, for example, a string instrument like a guitar, where you constantly need to tune each string. Since all the holes or uh, notes are in tune uh, to themselves, you only need to, if it is tunable, drag it out or in, like so, here. I don't know if you can see it here, to tune it. Uh, and basically, once it's in tune, which depends mainly on the temperature in the room, and you can test this on an, uh, a tuning app on your phone, then you simply need to warm it up, like uh, warm it up with your hands like this, cover the uh, mouth p fipple here, and then blow air. So you get some warm air, and then you can start play. Uh, that is number four, quick to tune. Number five of the amazing things about the tin whistle is that it's a super agile instrument, meaning you can play very quickly. And the reason for this is, again, it's only six holes. You don't have lots of keys and stuff going on. The holes are also very, very small on a tin whistle, the higher soprano versions. And the finger spacing is very close. You don't need to um, move your fingers and stretch your fingers like that. So that makes it very agile. So you can add decorations very easy on a tin whistle. So for example, if you hold down a note, you can tap the hole with the finger below. Or the opposite, cut by releasing the note here. And you can do uh, up and down like rolls. You can do runs. You can do thrills or bounces. And small decorations like that uh, to spice up your performance. So, number five, a very agile instrument. Number six, it is in fact very expressive. And this is because open hole design for flutes or wind instruments uh, make it uh, so that you can perform, for example, bends or slide ins and slide outs. like that. Uh, and you can also do uh, a vibrato or bend the note by with your fingers below here. So since they are open hole, hole design here. Uh, so very expressive. You can also do legato very easily by just covering, uh, continuing the airflow and then just uh, adding a note or a hole like this. And if you do it slowly and slide in, you get a smooth legato, very expressive. Slide out to go up. Uh, and uh, you can also even learn more advanced expressive uh, techniques such as vibrato with your airflow. 
by pulsing the airstream. So it is a very expressive instrument, actually. And number seven, it uh, comes in. Uh, it has versatile variations because it comes in different keys. So this one is the standard key, which is D. So it is tuned in D major. But if you start on the second note here, you can play in E uh, minor. Uh, uh, you have to do a cross fingering to get the true minor key. You can play G major by doing the same, starting on this note. But uh, to get better access to more keys and easily play along to other songs, you can get teen whistles in other keys. So this one is in D, and <clears throat> the higher the key, the smaller it will be. So this is in E flat, just a half a tone above. I have another one here in C. In fact, I have a whole range of them over there. So this is in, uh, compare this to the Drigen, and this is C, a bit bigger. And of course, the bigger uh, the tin whistle, the more warm the tone will be, and the lower the root pitch will be. I'm going to finish by playing something on this tin whistle in B flat to show you how beautiful and expressive this instrument can be. I will add some reverb to make it even more beautiful because that is how I use it when I make music and record the instruments. So it can sound like this. So that is the Irish tin whistle, my friends.